So, storm's over, um, but it's still very windy and cold outside. It doesn't feel like summer here. But yeah, this would have been Icelandic weather, which was not the weather in Volgograd. And when I heard about the weather conditions, I already thought that this will be a tough game for Iceland. Um, which played very tight and probably a little bit better in the first 30-45 minutes, uh, from what I could tell, see, and so on. Uh, again, I saw maybe the second half of the first half, second quarter of the game. I didn't really see, but I listened to it while uh, driving. Yeah, and then Nigeria turned it on and Musa scored an amazing goal. Uh, the way he stopped the ball and put it in the net, that was world class. That was probably my favorite goal so far. Uh, there were a few that were nicely played. I think the Belgium goal was also nice. But just the way that he, out of mid-air, got the ball and then hammered it into the net. Respect. That was really cool. Uh, Iceland didn't show much after that. I think uh, I always had a feeling that from that moment on, Nigeria really had control and took the game to Iceland and scored a very well-deserved second goal. Um, my wife and I were, were discussing whether the goalkeeper uh, should have come out that much. Um, I am, you know, if in doubt, I give. I'm going that the goalkeeper had a good idea. She was more like, nah, it was stupid. Uh, it was a great run. He got past the one defender, and yeah. What should the goalkeeper do? He will. He wanted to try to stop it, but a misjudged situation. Of obviously, you're not gonna get a goalkeeper controversy uh, at Iceland with me. That goalkeeper, if he would stand in the Argentinian goal, Argentina would be top of the group at the moment. But as it stands, we have Croatia qualified and Nigeria is in second spot, and both um, Iceland and Argentina are on one point with Iceland having the better goal differential. So Argentina is last, but um, Argentina will probably be happy because now they know that with a win against Nigeria, they have a decent chance. And even if the Iceland game should go uh, Ori, yeah, <laughs> at least you have the chance to put more goals. How? I have no idea. I actually think that Nigeria will probably beat Argentina for the first time, but it remains to be seen. I, I, I'm still, I don't say I'm over it. I think I've accepted that Argentina is as a team the worst team at this World Cup. Nigeria would be a worthy second qualifier, and they would play France again, and maybe exact revenge on the French uh, for being eliminated four years ago in the second round by the team where they actually were for 60 minutes the better team and then France got a lucky goal and yeah made a second one and that was that. Uh, Iceland got a penalty via VAR and now I forgot to tell you about this before. Uh, I really like when they show the uh, referees, the video referees and it says in the back VAR room. At first I thought it says VAR room. Uh, funny coincidence. Maybe. Uh, I really was. Uh, I really get a chuckle out of it every, every time. The other thing I said wrong in this video, in the previous video about the Brazil victory, is that uh, Group E is said to be the first group where we see every shirt. Uh uh That was Group D. Now we have seen all the beautiful and ugly shirts in Group D. Uh, in a way, a masterstroke. The jersey matchup I liked a lot. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the neckline of the Iceland jerseys, but other than that, I think they look nice. And yeah, I need that Nigeria jersey. I'm still flabbergasted that they, it sold out and it didn't even come into regular sales. I don't know what's the strategy there. Uh, okay, you don't want to produce that much. Maybe you don't want to have as many counterfeits around, but I think with that, you, you're really encouraging counterfeit. Uh, jer jerseys. Um, I It's not my favorite jersey of all time, but it's so unique that I really would like to have that one. The funny thing is when I look at the World Cup jerseys, there are three Nike jerseys too, which were worn today. That I, The one I have, the France one, and then there's Brazil away. I want to have a blue Brazil jersey. And yeah, this uh, Nigeria jersey, those would be the three on the top of my list. 
uh, I was looking Adidas. Yeah, maybe I like the Germany away jersey, but then you know Germany jerseys. I usually wear only jerseys of teams that I would like. Um, Belgium, maybe Russia, maybe I don't know. Puma, yeah, the Uruguay potentially. I like the Senegal, but I like the previous Senegal much better. So you know, uh, I usually try to get one Puma, one Adidas, and one Nike. But mm -hmm, I like uh, if I would get an England jersey, and that would again be Nike. That I think is more tempting to me at the moment. So it's all the Nike jerseys that are the rage here. Uh, even the black Argentina jersey. I have a feeling it will end up in my collection sometime, although I don't like it that much. I really wish this was navy blue. And yeah, better not. This is an Argentina team that deserves to be forgotten. There are my three Argentina jerseys. I don't think I will wear them at this World Cup anymore. Who knows? They might go in the closet. Well, let me know what you thought about this game. I like the colorful matchup. I really like the Nigeria socks. I like the jersey matchup. It was something different. Blue against bright green. Uh, given that we also saw the blue of Brazil today, um, this day looked a little bit different. But now we'll get a red versus white matchup with Serbia, Switzerland. Well, again, let me know in the comments what you thought about this game, jersey matchup, the Nigeria jersey. Maybe you like the Iceland jersey as well. They are both uh, very unusual jerseys. And I will talk to you soon. Enjoyed this video? Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.